I am currently soft locked. I cannot move or turn my mouse because I'm clipped into this one block. This is an exploit that you can use to trap anyone permanently, but thankfully it recently got fixed. It was first discovered by Circuit Store, who found a setup on how to softlock yourself, but now I upgraded it, and I'll show you how to softlock anyone who stands still for a few seconds. So let's start from what we know. In 1.16, the logic behind blocks collisions got changed, so if you try to walk into a block, the game won't allow that and will reset your position to where it was a moment ago, but there are still ways to get into a block, and if you do them, the block will politely push you out. However, in between those two, there is a tiny area in which the game thinks you are simultaneously inside of a block and outside of a block. So the game will think that you are trying to enter a block and it will try to reset your position to where it was a moment ago. But you haven't actually moved, so a moment ago you were in the exact same place. And then it will run this same check once again, so it will continue resetting your position until you move out of the block, which is never, this is an infinite loop. This is not even tick dependent, it resets your position as soon as possible, and even when the game is paused, it is a rare issue, because the width of this area is actually 10 to the power of negative 7 blocks, or to make it sound cool, you could say 100 nano blocks. So if you position yourself randomly and drop a block on yourself, there's a 1 in 10 million chance that it will softlock you, though I guess there's 4 edges on which you can get softlocked, so it's 4 in 10 million. My setup uses a fishing rod which can pull your friend into that exact range. A fishing rod will always pull your target with the initial speed equal to the distance divided by 10, and then the speed in the consecutive ticks will follow the standard horizontal movement formula. And without any acceleration, you will just slow down because of friction and air resistance. That's why the further you are from your target, the faster he will be pulled. These formulas are quite simple, except this time we're also gonna need to take stopping conditions into account. So if your movement speed is below 0 0.003 blocks per tick, it gets set to zero. Because without this rule, it would be really difficult to just stop moving. So to uncover the truth, you have to do math. Here's how I found the position from which you can fishing rod somebody into this magical range. Let D be the distance between the trapper and his victim. We're gonna be looking for that D. And also let L be the distance from the victim and the soft locking range. So L will be a range that we can find by going into the game and subtracting two numbers. First the coordinates of the player when he's against the wall. Because I'm assuming the victim's starting position will always be against a wall, that way it will always be the same. And second, the coordinates in which the player gets softlocked. So L is anywhere in between this range, for example 0 0.40001. And since L is also the distance traveled, we can write it as the sum of all speeds. And the speeds are a recursive sequence. So here's how you solve this for D. First we need S to be a non-recursive sequence, and we can do that by finding the characteristic equation R equals 0.546, so the non-recursive formula will look like this, we just have to find A, which we do by substituting N equals 1, because we already know the first element of this sequence. So we find A and plug it in. This is quite a complicated process, but you can probably just tell that these two sequences are exactly the same. And since we know SN, then we also know SI, and we can just plug it into our previous equation. So now, inside of this sum, is just a multiplication of two numbers. And since the first factor doesn't have I anywhere in it, we can take it in front of the sum and multiply it here, because that's the same thing. And after putting the sum on the other side and the 10 on the other side, we have solved for D, because we can run this through a Python program. Actually wait, we don't know the value of N. N is the amount of ticks in which your victim moves. So all we can say about N is that your movement speed in the last tick has to be bigger than 0 0.003, because of the stopping condition. So that's why we're doing a Python program, because we can just test for different values of N and take whichever one works. And once again, because D depends of L, and L is a range, therefore D is also a range. So your coordinates will be the D plus the wall position, and I printed those out here. 
Let's take the start of this range, for now just teleport to it and try it on like an armor stand, see the position of it and see the position at which I was aiming, pretty accurate. And that's because I actually used a very accurate value of the deceleration. Because air resistance and friction are usually just approximated to 0.546, but for these calculations that's not accurate enough. So the way I created this number is by going into the game and continuously checking the position of an armor stand, then calculating its speed and its acceleration, and I just approximated it to this value. So we know the position, now we just need to find a setup of inputs that doesn't involve teleporting. So I present to you the great HEPPE position finder. I'm certain somebody has already made a better position finder, but who cares? You say the position and I will get you to it. So here's how it works. The starting position is always up against a wall, then it checks every angle that you can be possibly facing for a few different sensitivity settings, and for each rotation it checks every amount of steps that you can take ranging between 1 to 6, and from that position it once again checks every rotation and every amount of steps for it, also finds the position when you're crouching and not crouching, and checks if every single one of those positions is in range. If one of them is, it displays the whole setup that you can follow. So this probably is not the most optimal solution, but it works. Actually it doesn't. You see, even though I haven't made a single mathematical mistake ever, the Minecraft source code actually has a mistake in the way the game calculates the cosine. Instead of using the built-in functions like math.sign, it actually creates its own lookup table for 65,000 different angles and then declares its own sign function, which takes the appropriate value from the sign table. So this works in O1 time and is actually really good for optimization. For the cost of rounding the values in between the table values down. I don't see any problem in this solution, but the mistake is in the way it calculates cosine. So there is no cosine table, the cosine is just sine plus 16384, which is the value that represents 90 degrees. Except it doesn't actually represent 90 degrees, this value does, which is a tiny bit smaller, and this causes a slight shift between the significant angles of z-axis and x-axis. This was always in the game, people call it half angles, I even mentioned it once, just wrong. Moyang, please fix this. Nah, they're not gonna fix that. Moyang only fixes the fun bugs. Like, they fixed sprouting like a week ago. <laughs> Anyways, let's just pretend the z-axis doesn't exist, because I would need Java's floating point imprecision, and I don't use Java. Python also makes these mistakes, they're just not that big. And calculate the setup for the x-axis, because the x-axis uses sine, and sine works fine, I can easily recreate the sine table. So after 40 seconds, my position finder generated a bunch of setups. All of them should work. I'm just gonna stick to this one because it's the best. Here's the tutorial on what you should do to that one friend who goes AFK way too often. You will need a boat, a fishing rod and any gravitational blocks. Open F3, find the 90 degrees rotation. Place a boat so that the boat angle is exactly 90 degrees. Build a corner on this side relatively to the boat and also two blocks ahead of your friend, another corner for yourself. Next, open your mouse settings and set the sensitivity to hyperspeed and press the left arrow on your keyboard 12 times, so the sensitivity should say 183%. Enter and leave the boat, go into your own corner, break these two blocks, but don't move your mouse too quickly. Look at the rotation 147.5 and tap W for one tick, then slowly turn to rotation 156.1, tap W for one tick four times with some time in between them, now you can turn your sensitivity back to normal, pull your friend with a fishing rod and drop a piece of sand right in front of him. You can punch him and if he doesn't take knockback that means it worked, sometimes you have to fishing rod him more than once. It's weird. Also, you technically don't need the corner, but just a wall, because movement in the z-axis and the x-axis is calculated separately, so as long as your friend's x-coordinate is correct, his z-coordinate does not matter, he can even be really far away from you, and it should work. Your target must not move, and that's it. Unless your friend has ender pearls or anything to teleport out with, he's gonna meet a fate worse than death. 
This exploit does not work on paper servers, as well as vanilla Minecraft past 1.21.2. Also, if you're doing this and you have Optifine installed, make sure in your performance you have fast math turned off. Because fast math turns the size of the sign table down to 4000. In case your friend is looking directly at the piece of sand, you might want to do this setup backwards so the sand lands behind him. So whenever you're looking at the right angle, press S instead of W. This will also work in case you want to be extra evil. Also fun fact, you can look at the 156.1 degree angle first and then the 147.5 and it will still work because, you know. So yeah, I'm glad they fixed it because this exploit was kind of overpowered. If you get trapped, there's not really much you can do but wait for an enderman to teleport to you and take this block. And as always, this does not work on bedrock edition. Blocks in bedrock will push you out even if you're inside of them by like one nano block. So even teleporting to the right coordinates will not softlock you. Subscribe so I can challenge Canadian to escape my prison. Bye!